Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing good. Today I've come with a new story for our storytelling series. This storytelling series is for young children to impart moral values. Today's moral value is to obey your elders. And we have a story of a fish named Minku and his family. So let us read it. Once there lived three fishes in a pond mother fish and her two kids tinku and minku the younger fish minku was naughty and stubborn he never listened to his mother one day the fishes were playing happily in the water only then two fishermen passed by the pond one of them said there are a number of fishes in this pond we should catch them to this the other fisherman replied it is already too late and it will be dark soon so we will catch them tomorrow his friend agreed and they went towards their home mother fish overheard the conversation she shook with fear she told her kids, My dear children, have you heard what the fishermen said? It is not safe to stay here. We should shift to some other pond tonight itself. That's right. We should shift from here tonight itself, said Tinku. Minku did not agree with the idea. He was not ready to move to the other pond. Rather, he made fun of Tinku his elder brother, and said, What a big fool you are! Why should we leave our own pond and go somewhere else? I am not going to do that. Both mother fish and the elder fish tried to convince Minku, but he did not listen. Even the uncle frog also tried to make him understand the need to go to another pond in order to save his life, but he made fun of them. Minku was so stubborn that he did not want to listen to anybody or obey them. At last, on the same night, Mother Fish and Tinku left Minku in that pond and moved to another pond. The next day, the fisherman came to the pond early morning to catch the fish. Minku did not realize the coming danger. He was not frightened even when he saw the fisherman. He continued to play and swim in the water. The fisherman threw the net into the pond and Minku was caught in the net. He wriggled and wriggled but it was too late. He could not escape from the net of one fisherman. Then he remembered his mother and brother. Now he was regretting for his foolishness. He wished that he would have listened to them and obeyed both of them. He struggled a lot, but it was all in vain. He cried loudly, but no one was there to save him. The fisherman killed him and carried him away. This is the story, children, of Minku, who is very naughty and stubborn. Children, the values to be developed with the story are, the first and foremost is, we should obey our parents. If we disobey, it will do harm to us. Children, parents never want bad for you. So, you need to listen to your parents. We should also obey our teachers and other elders. They love us and take care of us. They teach us and guide us. Even teachers and other elders always try to guide you. They are there to help you out. They take care of you and they love you. You need to listen to your parents, teachers and other elders. God 
love those who obey and honor their parents. Parents and teachers take the place of God on the earth. So we must always listen to them and obey them. If someone suggests us something, we must take their suggestions into consideration. Before we come up to a decision or before we decide upon something, we need to consider the suggestions given by our elders and never make fun of others' suggestions. If you do not want the fate of Minku, children, you need to obey your elders, especially your parents and teachers. That is all, children. I will come again with another story in the next week. Till then, bye-bye.